just in the command line. So I'm on Windows 10 and in a browser. And let's do Eclipse. So this is the modeling environment that we would like to have downloads. So I'm going to use Windows. And if you just do a download, it's going to take a few minutes. So let's open the file. And what we've downloaded is a big package. Let's go into the Papyrus executable. We're going to need to extract some things. So let's extract everything. And that sounds like a good location. Going into the Papyrus folder again. And if we double click on Papyrus, now we have Papyrus loaded, ready to go. I'm just going to show you what it pops up as, the environment side. So this will be where all my work will be saved. And minimize the number of other applications you have running. Um, it's going to help the reaction and um, enable you to work with Papyrus a lot better. All right, so we'll get to the same location in a minute. Let me show you another alternative for downloading Eclipse first and then using Papyrus as a plugin. Selection of different packages for Eclipse. Um, let's see, the one I'm most familiar with is this version. So I'm going to download. Let's see. And download. And take a minute. So we're ready to open the file. It's going to walk us through. All right. Let's accept the terms. All right. That one. Install, please. It looks like, oh, we're ready to launch. And I'll accept that as the destination. Let's see. Okay, we have an older view. Sure. Older version. All right, so now we want to work on bringing in Papyrus into Eclipse under help. Let's install new software. Let's put this guy here. We had hoped. Hmm. All right, so let's go to the latest. Hold on. Let's do it. It's always so small for me. We have modeling. Oh, there's modeling. Let's open this. See if they have. Okay, that went way too fast. Alphabetical papyrus, please. Next. All right. That seemed to work. Next. I agree. Finish. Um, all right, so um, just hit the restart now. Okay, so after I rela relaunched Eclipse, we have, you could create a new papyrus.